Welcome to Must Have Mac Apps Volume 3. Links to everything are in the description below, and my thanks to Setapp for sponsoring this video. Batteries is a menu bar app that shows the battery status of all of your devices. This not only includes the laptop battery, but keyboard, mouse, and trackpad. It also shows Bluetooth headphones like AirPods as well. And on top of all that, it'll show your iPhone and iPad's battery level as well. Honestly, I'm really surprised this isn't built into Mac OS already. Solver is probably the most niche app in this video. It combines both a text editor and a calculator. This allows you to write out a math problem in natural language and then it solves the problem for you. There's a ton you could do with this that I find really helpful. Honestly, it's been a little while since I took a math class, so more complex problems, I just don't even remember how to solve them. You could do things like find the percentage of a cost of something, find the time between a specific date range, convert measurements, get time zones, and a lot more. There's even advanced features like being able to set variables in the app. So that means you could set like your tax rate as a variable so you don't have to remember what that is constantly. You can just, you know, call the variable tax rate or, you know, specific dates for whatever thing. Text Sniper is a really useful app. It's a lot like Apple's new live text feature, but you can use it anywhere in Mac OS. So how this works, by default, you can hit Command Shift 2 and you get a selector tool. Drag this over any text, doesn't matter if it's selectable or not. And then all of that text will be added to your clipboard. I've been using this to grab chapter markers out of Final Cut so I can just paste them into YouTube. Now, this text in Final Cut isn't selectable at all. Now, I could just take a screenshot and use the live text feature, but using Text Sniper is just cleaner. This will also work with PDF documents that aren't OCR'd, images, web pages, whatever you want to pull text from, Text Sniper can do it. Apple products keep getting better and better, and with that, we're able to accomplish our work even faster. But it's time for another dramatic change. This is Setup, and the change that it brings lies in the way we interact with software, bringing even more simplicity and productivity to our everyday lives. Setup helps solve tasks on your Mac, which would normally cost you time searching the internet and installing demo apps for a solution. Let me show you how this works. Let's say I want a clipboard manager. I can just type that into Setup. Setup found a few apps here, but Paste looks exactly like what I want. With one click, we can install the full version of the app. Now I have a clipboard manager on my Mac. No need to install a bunch of different demo applications, insert my credit card number for trials, or even pay upfront for apps that I'm not sure are gonna solve my problem. By using multiple apps, I can literally revamp my entire workflow as the apps contribute to a common goal, like productivity, task management, and so much more. Setup has over 200 premium applications that can solve a variety of problems, with more and more apps being added all the time. Think tasks, not apps with Setup. Try it for free for seven days by clicking the link in the description below. Pixelmator Pro is a photo editing app that I'm really impressed with. They took Lightroom and Photoshop and mixed them together, but still managed to make a coherent and good application. What I like about this is I can do all of my photo editing for thumbnails, product photography, and landscape in one place. It has all the typical Lightroom tools like light controls, HLG sliders, and curves, but then you have Photoshop features like text tools, pen, shapes, brushes, and more. There's also machine learning options, so Pixelmator will use that to judge how to edit your photo for you. If you want a normal edit, this is a great way to go. Personally, I'm much more stylized with my edits, so it can't quite get where I want it to be. It's great having all of these tools in one place and it's not a subscription. But there's two key things preventing me from moving from Lightroom and Photoshop to Pixelmator Pro. First one, and it's the biggest one, there's no iPad app, so that's just a full stop for me right there. Now, there is Pixelmator Photo, but it doesn't have all the tools Pixelmator Pro has. There's also no gallery or project view. I like this in Lightroom especially. So whenever I go into like Yosemite or if I'm working on a project or something like that, I like to take all my photos and group them together in a, 
almost a playlist album style approach. This way I can kind of organize everything a little more easily. Pixelmator Pro really relies on Finder for all of that. Now you could just make folders and all of that, but it makes it hard to do mass group edits. So a lot of times if I'm editing a group of photos that are very similar, I will edit one photo in Lightroom, then copy those edits to all the other photos and then go into each photo and make fine adjustments. But that way I'm not having to redo the whole edit from start to finish for every single photo. But if you really don't need an iPad app and you only edit one or two photos at a time, you're not doing big group edits, Pixelmator Pro is a great way to go. Mission Control Plus is a simple utility, but a really handy one. Once you have Mission Control Plus installed, when you three finger swipe up to get Mission Control, you will now see an X button on a window that you hover over. You can click that and it'll just close the window. Window management is one of my biggest complaints on Mac OS, and this just kind of helps me keep things a little more organized. You know, if I don't need something open, I can just quickly close that window and, and just let that go and then focus on the stuff that I do have open. Yoink is an app I talk about a lot when I talk about iPhone and iPad apps. It's a really good shelf app and clipboard manager, but on the Mac, it acts as a temporary storage area. When you start dragging something, it'll appear and you can drop files and content in there. I use this for stuff I temporarily need and don't want to save to Finder. It's also good for getting quick access to important documents you reference a lot. You can hit F5 to bring up Yoink or dismiss it, or by default when you start dragging something, Yoink will show up. Transloader is an app for downloading files on your Mac, but from your iPhone or iPad. When you come across a file you want to download, you can use the share sheet and select Transloader, or you can just copy and paste the link in the app. You can save them to download them for later from your Mac, or you can push the download through so the file will be waiting for you when you come back to your Mac. So I recently got a new camera, Canon R5, and I've been playing around with different LUTs other people have made. So I've been looking for LUTs on my iPad and then using Transloader to download them on my Mac. So that way when I have time to go and play with them, they're already ready to go on the Mac. So that's it for Must Have Mac Apps Volume 3. Thank you so much for watching and my thanks to Setup for sponsoring this video. If you like it, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already, and have a great day.